I'm only about five minutes up from where I saw the last Gila monster in this wash. It's a nice, it's about to rain today, which we haven't had in a while, so I'm guessing that's why these guys are out running around. This one's got his full tail. Looks closer to banded, but it's still a reticulated Gila monster. And this one looks a little more pissed off too. Come now, buddy. You're actually not supposed to touch these things. I shouldn't have touched the last one. You can hear him hissing there. God, this is another big one. Man, these Superstition Mountains have some monsters. <laughs> no pun intended. This guy is huge. He's even bigger than the last one. Kind of curious. Oh, he is beautiful. It is very close to Bandit. All right, calm down there, guy. I'm not even near you. Yeah. That's the typical Gila monster right there. They get pretty pissed pretty easily. God. It's so awesome. It's crazy enough to see one, but to see two in the same day, you're doing something right. Two five minutes apart. This is probably a pretty good canyon for it. Must sustain a lot of these guys. I'm not going to say any more than I'm in the Superstition Mountain. This guy is beautiful. Very aggressive, just like a Gila monster should be. Usually they'll bite the crap out of you. No, no, they're not toxic. They're not toxic in a fact of killing people. They can't, they have never actually killed anybody. They're just, their toxin mainly is to make you hurt. They haven't found that it actually kills lizards or mice or any of their other prey, which they actually eat a lot of quail eggs. This is a beautiful one though. See that big old tongue going. Alright, I'm gonna let him get on his way. A very gorgeous little hill monster. I mean, you can see the size of him. It's a big one. Really big one. Beautiful. Listen to him hiss. He wants a piece of me. Gorgeous, gorgeous heel monster. Out here in the Arizona desert. 